Hi. Bloating is a very common problem. And I think everybody is affected by bloating at least once in their whole lifetime. It happens irrespective of the age, of the gender, of the geographical area, of the socioeconomic status. And it happens also even in healthy people practicing healthy lifestyle. So my personal experience with the bloating is a long one. So what I do? Number one, I stop and think. What is the cause? What did I eat? What type of food which make me bloated? And sometimes I notice this even when I am eating. But this, it needs to be focusing. I'm focused and mindful. Then I stop. So the type of food and the type of liquid which we are drinking. We were advised not to take water or liquid with meals because this will dilute the gastric juices and the digestive juices. But nowadays, we take a glass of water with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar before meal or after meal to control our blood sugar and before meal also to make us feel full. And sometimes even we could uh, we take some people they take a mug of tea before eating. This is to stretch the stomach because the stomach it has mechanical center which is stretched by the volume of food we are eating so that we eat less and to maintain our body weight. But the side effect of this practice is very bad because the liquid we are taking it dilute the digestive juices and the tea before meal also it has tannin and phytic acid which is stop the absorption of minerals iron and calcium it is anti nutrients so if we want to take liquid or tea we take it at least 1 hour before our meal or 2 hours before the meal or after the meal. This is number one. Number two, if when eat quickly and don't chew the food, this lead to bloating because when we chew slowly and mindfully, when we are focused on the food and our brain is not in a hurry to do something else, the food is start to be digested in the mouth because the saliva, it has enzymes and it makes changes in the food before we swallow it. And this is very, very important. It is simple, doesn't cost much, but it costs time. We have to be slow. And also the signals to the brain to be full and to feel satiety, it take about 20 to 30 minutes. So the slower we eat, the less we eat. And it is a very easy, efficient way to lose weight over time because we will eat less and we have less suffering with the bloating. So now the type of food, the quantity of food, the more we eat, the more we have bloating. The less we eat, the better. The combination of food. Sometimes if we take uh, fibers, prebiotic fibers like flaxseed, chia seeds with yogurt. And some people, you are giving the fiber and the good bacteria and this will cause bloating. So one has to listen to his or her body language to adjust the combination of food. Sometimes combination of carbohydrate and fat or eating fruits at the end of the meal or in the middle of the meal. This will cause fermentation and gas production. 
So now we, the timing of eating, if we eat it during the day, we could digest the food better. And because the biological clock in every cell is prepared to digest the food. So eating late is not very good for our health and for the bloating. Also, the type of food, for example, if it is hard to digest, like beef, some people, they have sensitive GI tract or gastrointestinal tract, and they cannot digest the meat. So a small amount is indicated. So these are the causes of bloating, but there are many other causes. Less acidity in the stomach, uh, not good sleep, not healthy lifestyle, not the microbiome is not healthy. There is dysbiosis, which is imbalance between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. And this is very, very important topic to look after our microbiome. Then emergency treatment for me is to use a cumin, brown cumin or black cumin. I grind it in my coffee grinder. Take one tablespoon, put boiling water on it, then add a few drops of lemon juice and salt, either two, three crystal of sea salt or miso, which is organic. Uh, it is fermented soya, very salty. So I take it instead of the salt to give me a good taste to drink this magic a drink which helped me to in the bloating and the gases start to come out from the mouth or from the anus. Cumin. Also fresh ginger, grate it and make a tea and drink it, which is also anti-inflammatory and is very, very important for gastrointestinal health, ginger. Walking. During walking, there will be movement and the colon and also massage of the abdominal uh, distension. I massage it in the direction, uh, in the right, lower abdominal angle, go up above the ascending colon, then the right angle, which is called the right uh, hepatic flexure because it is near the liver, hepatic meal liver, then go transversely at the top of the abdomen, which is called transverse colon, then the angle on the left, which is called splenic flexure, because the colon turn near the spleen, then go downward, which is descending colon, the sigmoid colon. I hope this will help as a natural treatment for bloating, but if bloating is persistent, one has to go to specialist in GI tract or gastrointestinal tract to investigate the reason. Because sometimes there is diseases in the abdomen, which cause bloating. And one of the thing, as a gynecologist myself, is sometimes in female, there is a carcinoma of the ovary, which is metastasized in the abdomen. It will cause bloating. This is very, very serious and very sad. So it is better to go for investigation and treatment. And this video is for healthy people who has been investigated and they don't have anything, but it is related to their eating habits and their lifestyle. Thank you and bye-bye.